When you look at, first of all, the, the possible threat of tariffs on car makers across the world, but also the fact that we don't really have any progress between U.S. and China, how should we read this? Is it more uncertain, or do we assume that actually gets sorted? In, in a weird way, almost, it appears to be a, a bit less uncertain in the sense that um, those are elements of a movie we have been watching for a while now. So <clears throat> there is actually a, probably a higher threshold for the market to get uh, upset about developments on that front. Okay, do, do you see a kind of agreement? First, do you, do you see tariffs on automakers actually coming to place? And how disastrous would that be for the Eurozone? It, it would clearly be very bad news for the Eurozone. Uh, the car manufacturers are material in the context of both employment but also economic activity levels. But to me, the elephant in the room is what's really going on in terms of China's economy. And China has been immensely important in terms of both imports of cars, uh, essentially from Europe in particular, but also the export of capital. And I see China's economy slowing very materially this year. I think that's going to cause very significant deflation risk later in the year. I think corporate earnings writ large could be down five percentage points. That is not a background that the markets would be prepared to consider at all. Um, Janos, is that, is that right? I mean, or should we be a lot more bearish on the Chinese economy or is it just adjusting at the margins? I, I would tend to disagree uh, kindly in the sense that uh, I think the market is, it's, it's not that these are not uh, risks ahead of us, but we have to think about what's priced in already. And according to our estimates in terms of what's priced in with respect to growth, we're fairly close, whether you look at proxies for China, Europe or U.S. growth, to the lows of 2016. So while I think a slowdown is likely to continue, uh, it's a question of, again, what is the threshold to move us further lower in terms of what the market is acting upon right about now? So I, I would say that, again, the threshold for move to something uh, a bit more stinging is, is relatively high. OK, if you look at the China policies, are they, are they actually dealing with the slowdown in the right way? Well, that's, uh, that, that would probably take us a few hours in, in order to sort it out. And that would involve, Stevie, you have 20 seconds. That, that would involve the Chinese themselves, I think. So um, I think they are, what, what I think what we need to focus on is their direction. And the direction is that they're moving to address it. They've made signals starting last April, and they're accelerating uh, right about now. And we show that in the latest ESF numbers, too. Do you agree with that, well, James, I, I, or is there a concern that actually they're, they're um, you know, creating a credit bubble? I, I think that there are real risks of a much faster and more deep slowdown than markets have been prepared to accept. And I, I guess that, Yanis, you're looking for reasonably positive corporate earnings progress for the global marketplace this year. I, on the other hand, worry that we might actually see an earnings recession, not an economic recession, but a corporate earnings recession in the year. And I don't think the markets have priced that at all. What do you think it's pricing right now? I, I, would, I would say that the, the numbers are fairly low. They're very close to low single digits. Low to mid single digits, absolutely. Uh, around five percentage points of growth for the states. Interestingly, I worry that the consensus is expecting double digit earnings growth for the fourth quarter mm. and for uh, 2020, both of which seem to be out of line with what I would reasonably expect for both revenues and for margins. But do, do you worry, is this on, on basically um, you know, chief executives not investing because they're uncertain about the situation, or is it actual earnings? I, I think that earnings will fall because revenues are going to be less extravagant than expected. The one-offs from last year will uh, have gone, uh, yep. and that we will see margin compression as wages rise and overall growth dissipates.